Well, here's Spencer Rattler. He's everybody here talking to scouts. Is everybody's favorite mid-round guy. Is that right? Quarterback. He's the name. We that, talk about the top three, and I go, who do you like in the middle rounds? And the, this is name that comes up more than any other. Why is that? <laughs> He's intriguing because, you know, he goes, he transfers. He gets beat up by Caleb Williams. He goes to South Carolina, who's a two-year captain there. They have – they get decimated with injuries. He never complains. He handles himself with class. He can really rip it. Like, the, he throws a beautiful ball. He was a big-time recruit. You know, he was on the Netflix show coming out of high school, and there was some immaturity there. And I think people, you know, thought that's who he was. And he's just a kid. So he's grown up. He's become a real leader. They rave about him at South Carolina, and he can he can spin the ball, Rich. Introduces to Austin Reed. Yeah, Austin Reed from Western Kentucky, where they love to throw the ball. He's going to be a 24-year-old. He can uh, he can drive the ball well. You'll see a lot of back shoulder throws. I just thought his. Uh, consistently got a little bit up and down. That was what you wanted to see a little bit more from him. Here's Jerry Jones watching him from the Cowboys suite. Oh, boy. He's getting booed. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that, right? Cowboy fans. Just get a reaction either way. He's Soak happy. it in. And Keaton Slovis, he's, he's three schools, right? Started out at USC, then to Pitt, then to BYU. Kurtz worked with him a little bit. Very much so. 4-6 flat. That's a great time. All right. Well, he's now the fastest quarterback that's run here. Be exciting to watch him throw. You know, just the, the pure pure velocity. That's the only, uh, you know, that's one of the, the concerns or questions that people have. So we'll see him rip it today. Big hands. Nine and seven eighth inch hands. Keaton Slovis. So Spencer Rattler will run again. Again, he was the one in Oklahoma. With only three guys, Rich, they don't get a lot of break. Well, I mean, talk to Sam Hartman. Hold, <laughs> he's the one holding their beer. <laughs> he was the only one in the previous group. And then we all know Lincoln Riley turned to Caleb Williams. Rattler goes to South Carolina. And then Riley goes to USC and brings Caleb Williams with him. There's a carousel of quarterbacks in college football. <laughs> Off he goes. When you say middle rounds, as we watch them, yeah, like I mean, four, nine, to seven, me, like, like third, four, third, third, fourth round, like that's a so like the Russell Wilson there. area is what we're saying, pretty much seventy fifth yeah, overall. I think you had like Cousins went in that range. Sure. Uh huh. Stacy Dells. Yeah, Rich. I actually talked to Lincoln Riley today about his now former quarterback Caleb Williams, and I just simply asked him, you know, what did you love about coaching Caleb Williams? And he told me his hunger, his willingness to learn and improve. He said he was constantly asking, like, what can I do to get better? What can I do to improve? He was always fixated, he told me, on weaknesses and how to get better at them. And uh, really just showed his natural confidence because when, as Lincoln described it, players without that, they typically want to focus only on their strengths. So I thought that was interesting. And then the other thing he noted to me, guys, is just you know, his growth and really still thinks he's so young. He told me COVID wiped out his senior year in high school and then he only played half the year at Oklahoma. You know, obviously they were there together and just, people just forget how early this is in his career and how young he still is. So, you know, for as mature as maybe he comes across or, you know, some of the noise that is going on on the outside, uh, Caleb Williams is still growing and he's still young and, and certainly believes he'll be the first overall pick uh, in the draft this year. Well, noise on the inside just got Mark Gorsuch's attention. Yeah. By the way, Keaton Slovis, I was trying to figure out. He's got he's a Brett Veach. That's the uh, body double there. Like the, uh, okay. It's a lot like the Chiefs. Well, he's definitely General faster Manager. than Brett Veach. Uh, Brett Veach could roll. I, I would not oh, let you okay. besmirch him. He was an outstanding wide receiver. Okay, sorry.